Okay, Michael, if, if, if what you say is going to happen, what's life going to be like coming up? Yeah, well, just like in 2008, what happened? The financial system started to go crazy, and all of a sudden there was a credit crunch. The banks didn't want to lend to each other. They didn't want to lend to anyone else. And we're so dependent on debt and credit. We needed to buy a car. We needed to buy a home. We needed right. to do whatever we do with our credit cards, everything else. So all of a sudden, if you're working somewhere, if you have a business, you're going to notice all of a sudden people don't have money to spend. People aren't coming in. People aren't spending. And so we're going to see unemployment rise. Millions of people, just like in 2008, millions of people are going to lose their jobs. And because most people don't have anything to fall back on, 62% of all Americans today are living paycheck to paycheck. So they won't be able to pay the mortgage. They don't, won't be able to pay the bills. They're, we're going to see foreclosures skyrocket. People kicked out of their homes, just like the last time around, but probably much, much worse. So things are going to get really, really hard in this country. We're going to see crime start to skyrocket. We're already seeing it in major cities all over the country this year. Violent crime is up by double digits in c cities all over the country this year. We're going to see civil unrest. We're already seeing it in Baltimore and other places where people are getting desperate, and desperate people do desperate things. Yeah. And so the life in America, I recently wrote an article entitled The Last Days of Normal Life in America. This pros false prosperity, debt-fueled prosperity we've been enjoying, it's coming to an end. Our standard of living is going to adjust dramatically. We're going to see crime. We're going to see civil unrest, which in turn is going to cause the government to crack down. Martial law declared in different cities eventually to try to restore order, kind of like after Hurricane Katrina. So we're going to see chaos. We're going to see panic. We're going to see people plunge into despair and depression. That's why we have to urge people to get prepared because there's hope in getting prepared. Yes. There's hope in understanding what's happening. Right. So we're not spreading a message of fear. We're spreading a message of hope. Yeah. yeah, I love that, Michael. What you just said is well, so right on. What, Mike, did you hear? I mean, that is the word of the hour right there. Right. There's hope in getting prepared. Right. So you're saying we can expect a crash anytime. We don't know when it's coming. Yeah. Absolutely imminent. Back at the end of June, I actually issued a red alert for the last six months of 2015. I'd never done this before. Since I started the economic collapse blog in 2009, I had never pointed to any specific point in time. I never said it's imminent. Another crisis is imminent. But at the end of June, I felt the Lord leading me that I needed to go on the record and say another major financial crisis is coming within the last six months of 2015. Now, I don't want anyone to think that the crisis is going to be over once we get to the end of 2015, because in so many ways, our problems are just going to be starting. Mm -hmm. But I believe that, yeah. and we've already seen the beginnings of that since that time, since I issued that warning. We've already seen yeah. the biggest stock market decline since 2008. So with the ball is rolling. We're getting going. It's going to accelerate. And then in the years ahead, it's going to be absolutely unimaginable what is going to happen. W Michael, what you're saying is what I've been trying to say. I've been trying to say to everyone out there, this is the opening of the gate of the of the last days 